how could someone leave a crash victim to die? Police now have a person of interest in the wreck that killed a mother of four. Investigators are talking with prosecutors to determine what charges should be filed. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee has details. Investigators from the Helena County Sheriff's Office were back on Silly Road Tuesday afternoon looking for more evidence in the case that claimed the life of Jenna Higgins. Earlier, the site drew numerous mourners, including these two men who didn't want their names used. They said they knew Higgins and the person of interest and can't believe she'd been left in his car after the Sunday crash. Neither could Higgins' mother, Julie Ramage. I'm hoping, I'm praying that you know, she didn't lay there and suffer for a day and a half. Higgins was last seen early Sunday morning leaving the another bar in Cleves with that person of interest. The departure was captured on surveillance video that's now in the hands of police. I don't know if somebody inside knew him and, or if she's met him before and thought it was all okay, but it turned out not okay. Ramage says her daughter was seeing a man named Johnny Henry who told me he didn't want to talk. She's very happy with and madly in love with him, so the only thing I can think of is she was asking for a ride to his house. Investigators believe alcohol was a factor in the crash, but they're waiting for a toxicology report before saying how big a factor it was. Now a grandmother becomes a mother of four young boys. She was a good mom. She loved these boys. She would have gave her life at any moment for them, just like I would have gave my life for her or my other daughter.